you move on to the next question. And the next question is hidden in here. It's and select the expression that represents a number of liters. So that represents the number of liters of fuel used in a 60 kilometer drive. So number of liters over 60 kilometers. So you're looking for something like this. And of course you assume that it's constant S in both cases. So how do you get this? Well again we have the same information as before. You have S and you have E. So you have these pieces of information. How do you, how do you combine these two such that you get liters over kilometer? Well this is the same thing. So liters per kilometer you have you want liters on top which means you have to flip E. And so then the E goes on the bottom and you end up with something like liters over kilometer. And how do you get from liters kilometer? How, how do you take care of the 60? So you, you made it pretty much look the same. It's 1 over E. The only difference is how do you get that 60 in there? Well, notice that 60 is on, on the bottom. If you want to cancel out this 60, you're going to need 60 on the top. It's going to have to look like this, 60 over E. So instead of 1 over E, you have 60 over E. The 60s cancel out, and then you get liters over kilometer. Another way to look at this is 1 over E gives you liter per kilometer. Now that's just for 1 kilometer. If you want to do 60 kilometers, you're going to need 60 as much 1 over E's. So, so 60 1 over E is the same thing as 60 divided by E. So again you look at this and you say, hmm, what do you want? You want liters per 60 kilometers. You realize that one of, of these two pieces of information, the E is the closest one in terms of liters and kilometer. The only difference is, well, you only got it for 1 kilometer. If you want it for 60, you just got to multiply by 60. So that's why you end up with um, this 60 over E as your final answer. And 60 over E, where which one of these is 60 over E? What? There it is. So 60 over E is your answer in terms of liters of fuel in 60 kilometers. You mark this one. So that's your final answer here. Now, as a recap, you basically are given two pieces of information. One is kilometers per liter, the other one is kilometers per hour. The first question asks you what is number of liters per hour. You basically combine these two such that you cancel out one of the metrics and you're, le you're left with liters per hour. And then that turns out to be going through this process where you end up eventually canceling out and you get S over E and that's this one. The second question asks you, how do you get liters of fuel per 60 kilometers? You go through the same process um, with 1 over E, and you're, you're already there. The only difference is the 60. You just add the 60 on the top, and that would give you the number of liters per 60 kilometers, and that's 60 over E. That would be this answer choice here. So there you have it. This is a two-part analysis question, um, and it involves metrics. Always keep in mind what your final metric is. List out the information that you have and figure out how to get from where you are to where you need to be.